Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing Who's Coming Towards You. This is an 18 plus reading, so if you aren't 18 or over, please exit the premises now, please. <laughs> if you are 18 or over, then please choose your group. We have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. Let's get those juicy details and let's see who's coming towards you. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who is coming towards you, okay. So starting off with the sexual magic tarot we have here, we have, oops, we have the three of cups, beautiful. We then have the four of swords and the queen of wands, lovely. So some of you guys could be a fire sign watching this, a fire sign female as well. And if you guys, lots of sexual energy coming from this group, a lot of you guys are going to be very fiery together if you're not a fire sign. I really feel like a lot of fiery energy between you both. There's a lot of communication and I love how she literally has her hands on his penis. Like, that's great, that's so great. Um, so I feel like this, you're gonna have a really strong connection to this person's, you know, you're both, she's got her hands on his penis and then he's got his hand on her vajayjay so you both have that strong connection between both of your you know your intimate parts you both have a connection between your intimate parts and you're both going to love those parts about each other um i feel like you guys might be a libra as well and getting strong libra energy from this here it's like this person coming towards you is going to really appreciate your clothing and you're most likely somebody who really appreciates fashion and clothing and just being really or, or being really comfortable some of you guys you have practical fashion but for others of you you like just really like beautiful dresses high boots that kind of thing this person's going to really like your mouth they're going to really like your lips they're going to love your face they're going to love your hair they're going to basically just love everything this person coming towards you is just going to really, really appreciate your body. They're going to really appreciate everything about your body in its intimate ways. In They're just going to like stare at you when you're getting undressed. They're just going to absolutely be so overwhelmed by your energy. They're going to just absolutely love it. And it's going to be amazing. Okay, so let's see what the overall energy is for this person coming in. Oh, I love that. This is why I was picking up on that Libra energy. So I feel like a massive amount of happiness coming towards you with this person. I do feel like this person, obviously, I feel like this is going to be a relationship coming from this situation. So if you guys were just hoping for like a, a sexual encounter, I do see that happening. But I do see more about it being a relationship. I see it being very fulfilling, very um, watery emotionally. And I think you're both going to connect to each other on a very emotional level. The womanly energy I'm getting from this is that you're going to be really fulfilled in both emotionally and sexually. And you're going to be balanced out by the time you meet this person. So if you're feeling quite unbalanced in terms of your feminine energy, or if you're feeling like you can't fill up your own cup, like you put other people before yourself and you sacrifice yourself, I do feel like you are releasing that and you're becoming more authentic and more happy to be, you know, confident and to say no when you need to say no and say yes when you say yes. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're very sensitive souls. So just be aware of who you give your energy to. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Let's have a look at the tarot. So we have the Queen of Swords, lovely. Got a lot of Queen energy in this group. We have the Three of Swords and we also have the Page of Swords. So for you guys, I definitely feel like a really nice, strong energy of independence. This person's gonna be really, you're gonna feel really interdependent with this person. It's gonna feel really like smooth and easy. Um, for some of you guys, you could have gone through a massive amount of heartbreak. This person could have also gone through a massive amount of heartbreak and you're really gonna be very comfortable within this relationship, okay? You're gonna feel like you're on top of the world. You feel like you can take on the world and you're, this person's gonna mostly give you most likely going to give you quite a lot of ideas in terms of how to move forward okay but the the sexual connection is going to be amazing when you meet this person it's going to be like fireworks you're going to feel so in like connected to this person and i feel like for a lot of you you could have like held your emotions quite close to your heart you could have felt like you can't express yourself because with this card here she has like a little bowl of water but it's kind of like trapped in this little kind of mini prison thing here so it does feel like you guys may have felt like you have to be really strong all the time and have to feel like you can't you know express yourself but this is this person's really going to help you express your sexual side and they're going to basically just be really um 
Coherent oh, the word taint, taint, no, it's not taint, like attainable, like they're gonna be on the same level as you. So for some of you guys, I'm getting the energy that you won't be having sex like all the time. Some some groups I get like a strong, massive sexual connection. With this one, I do feel that sexual connection, but it feels quite, it's like a balanced connection in terms of not having sex all the time. It's gonna be more of a like brain stimulating group, but I do feel like obviously there is gonna be really good sex, but I think that's not the main thing about your relationship, I feel. So obviously that doesn't resonate with maybe choosing another group, but I feel like this is very air sign energy, very mentally stimulating. And this person's gonna come in with an offer. I think when you meet them, they're gonna be the one who comes in with the offer. They're gonna be the one who gives you the offer. And it's cute how we have like the two birds here and they're kind of meeting in the middle. So I do feel like you're gonna meet this person in a way that's kind of random. It's gonna be very effortless as well. So you don't have to try to meet them. You don't have to worry about meeting them because you will meet them, okay? So next card we have is heart chakra beautiful so the universe is teaching you to work on your heart chakra it's teaching you to be in touch with your heart chakra and it's really teaching you to open yourself up in terms of love okay i'm going to read from the book for this one because i really feel drawn to do that so let's do that now let's do that now I've got 31 as well so you could be looking at the number three and one also the number four so 31 okay perido it is no coincidence that you are being drawn to the peridot crystal. Peridot is a beautiful green colour and associated with the heart chakra. It is also associated with relationships and healing. You are a natural teacher and you are now being encouraged to use your natural healing abilities, compassionate energy and love to help nurture and teach others. Being a teacher doesn't necessarily mean working in a school environment. Teachers come in many different forms. Perhaps you, perhaps you are already teaching your friends and family about how to handle different situations or you may be a lecturer, adult educator, or child carer. Whatever form of teaching you engage in, know that your spirit guides and angels are supporting you with this. Your words are very powerful. You have the ability to connect with people from all walks of life, and you can provide in important information to those who need it. You may even be teaching unknowingly through your writing, through the words you speak, through your own positive energy, or even by leading by example. Part of your life's purpose is to heal and teach others, say, share your knowledge where you can. So I feel like this person that you're connecting to is also going to go for a similar thing. I think that they're, they're also going to be um, possibly a really like strong teacher. They're going to be very, like, they're going to mentally stimulate you. So I think they're going to be really smart. They're going to be very intelligent. They're going to be really well-rounded with their words. And I feel like dirty talk is going to be a really big thing for you guys. I just keep getting like the mouth. I keep getting words. I keep getting just anything to do with the oral. So maybe oral sex is going to be your favorite thing to do as well. And I feel like I'm hearing look through the looking glass. So I think, I don't know what that story is actually about. No, it's Alice, it's not Alice in Wonderland though, is it? It's like a different story. But I'm hearing through the looking glass. So you're kind of looking into a new perspective about your love life. And this person's gonna bring in a really gorgeous kind of new environment to that, okay? So let's get some more information about this person. Let's see who they are. It's really funny because I was actually putting these cards um, generally for the, for the piles as I kind of set them out before I shuffle and put the cards down before I do the reading the universe told me that I needed to actually sh shuffle these in person I feel like it's actually a very good idea because now I'm going to get quite a lot of in-depth uh, information for you guys so shuffling live is what they want me to do beautiful this is so accurate you guys are going to feel really empowered in this relationship we have Leo the lover so you're going to feel very, very connected to each other and it's going to be a very intimate relationship. Um, touching each other is going to feel really good and I'm hearing the insecurity with touching one another is going to be gone. So some of you guys could have had some quite dodgy, uncomfortable, sorry I don't mean the word dodgy, that's not really the right word, but uncomfortable experiences with sex and I think you're going to be healing a lot of that and I think you're going to be much more comfortable. This person's also going to help you to um, draw in your natural healing abilities as well. That was a really interesting message that just came to me. Um, and they're really gonna help you to become much more of yourself. You're gonna be able to be your most authentic self and you're not gonna buffer who you are. You're not gonna kind of uh, change who you are. You're just gonna be your most authentic self and you're gonna be exactly where you're meant to be, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys, this person's gonna be really mysterious as well. They're most likely gonna have quite a lot of Scorpio in their chart. 
and this person's going to be just really really fun it's going to be a really fun relationship and there's going to be no lacking here no lacking whatsoever this person might be into astrology and astronomy that kind of thing and they're going to be very flirty very confident and just yeah really beautiful fiery energy here so you both could be fire signs fire signs are very connected to other fire signs so let's get some energy here let's see about this person with the astrodites Okay, so we have the 10th house, we have Taurus, and we have Uranus. So you're most likely going to meet this person through work, I feel. This is how you're going to meet them. Could be through a career-esque kind of connection. So it could be through work. It doesn't have to actually have to be at work, but it can be to do with your work. And I feel like this is going to create a massive amount of expansion in your work as well when you meet this person, because you're going to feel like on top of the world. And then we also have Taurus, and Tauruses are very connected to the physical, they love intimacy, they love touching, they love anything that's like they can get their hands on. So I really feel like you guys are going to feel very sexually connected to this person. You may actually be in a place where you don't want love, and therefore you get more connected to them on a sexual basis first. So that's for some of you guys, and then I kind of feel like it's going to change to love. I have this really random message, basically... On my wall, there's like little kind of dents, as you know, not every wall when you paint it is perfect, it has like little dents and stuff. And as I'm looking right now, there's a heart shape on my wall when it's upside down. So I feel like for you guys, it's making me feel like you're gonna like this person, but you're gonna be a little bit scared of them because you don't wanna get too connected, you don't wanna get too deep with them at first. But I think you're gonna be absolutely fine and everything's gonna be fabulous. And I'm very excited for you guys. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. If you ever want any uh, custom crystal jewellery, let me know. I'm working on my Etsy shop right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you and let's see the intimate details. So let's start off with the uh, sexual magic tarot. Oh, we've only got two cards there. Okay, so we have the uh, page of pentacles. And we also have the Six of Cups. Let me just get one more card for you guys. So, for you guys, I feel like you guys are most likely going to be a water sign. Or they're going to be a water sign. Okay, it doesn't have to be. But there's a lot of watery energy around you guys. It was very easy. Yep, we've got another Cups card. So we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Magician. So, massive amount of new energy coming in. This person is somebody you don't know. I really feel that for a lot of you guys who have chosen this group. Um, I feel like for you guys, you're going to be focusing on work. When you meet this person, it's, it's going to be very work kind of concentrated. This person, most likely, their work is very, very important to them. And they might actually do, they might actually be an artist as well. They might be somebody who likes to draw. And I feel like for you guys to look out for white doves when this person comes in. This person's going to be really liking your, your boobies, your top half. Uh, depending obviously, if you're a woman or whatever. Uh, but they're going to really like your body. They're going to love like having baths with you, um, having sex in like the shower, having sex in just random pools of water, you know, obviously sanitary. <laughs> um, but I feel like you guys, this person's going to, you most likely might meet them around autumn time or you could be born around autumn time. Autumn time could just be very prominent for you guys. And you could go camping with them and do some kinky things in like a tent or something. But I feel like you guys are very romantic. I feel like this group feels quite romantic. The person who you're connecting to is quite mysterious. They're most likely going to come up quite randomly. And you're going to meet them in a place that you probably would never have thought you were going to meet them. And they're going to be... This could be somebody who you don't... I don't think you know this person, but they might already know you. So they might be looking at your social media. They might be looking at your Instagram and things like that. This person really likes to... Um, they like fluids okay it sounds really gross but they like fluids so they probably like drinking not necessarily alcohol they just might like drinks they might actually just make cocktails and things but they could also like to um there's something to do with fluids like they like like drinks so like random stuff like orange juice they might like fizzy drinks things like that but they also like might like making smoothies they like kind of making things so they also might like cooking and things like that sorry guys i had just had to adjust my camera because it was wonky okay so let's have a look at the next cards we have we then have the five of swords king of wands beautiful i love that energy and the six of cups so this person is most likely going to be somebody you've known from a past life that may have a very strong connection to animals i'm getting a really strong cancerian connection from this card 
And the Five of Swords just shows me that this person's gone through a lot of heartbreak. You and this person have both gone through heartbreak. This could actually be, okay, I'm gonna change my, what I said. I feel like some of you guys, this could be an ex that you haven't dated for a really, really long time. And you both could have just basically just fell apart and then you're coming back together. And for you guys, crows, I feel like it's a very strong message for you guys. So look out for that, for that energy. It could be as well, another message could be that your relationship with that person is, is dead and is dying and now you're moving on to somebody new, okay? So just keep that in mind, guys, however it relates to you. So the King of Wands is showing me some really major Leo energy. I feel like for a lot of you guys, your man could look like that. I mean, how beautiful is he? Yum. <laughs> okay, he's got a really gorgeous, strong, sexy, fiery energy. And obviously this is to do with men and women, whoever you are. Um, it's a masculine and the female energy. But I feel like it's King of Wands. If they are a man that you're if you're wanting a male, I do feel like they're gonna have a very big penis, okay? Just putting that out there. Their penis is gonna be great and you're gonna really love it. They're gonna be quite strong in sexual um, like things as well. So they're gonna be somebody who's most likely gonna be offering you kind of ways of changing things up, of uh, maybe buying you like kinky stuff. They're probably gonna like buying you underwear and things like that. Um, and like buying you like really pretty things and like really like sexy things that you guys can use together. They're gonna be really inventive as well in the bedroom. They're gonna really like doing things that are really experimental and things that they, they probably haven't even done. They're just so excited to have somebody they can do that with as well. And you're, I feel like if you, for those of you who have ginger hair, I feel like, I just feel like this woman in particular, if you have like ginger hair or light brown hair, or you've been working on your booty, I feel like they're just gonna really like your bum. Even if not any of those things, I feel like they're gonna like your bum anyway, but for those of you who have ginger hair specifically, it's just something about ginger hair. This person might also have ginger hair as well. Um, but there's something about like the pale skin with the ginger hair. Like I just feel like that's very, something about that. So just keep that in mind, guys. You take it as it resonates. But a lot of you guys have beautiful booties and this person's gonna love your booty, whether you're ginger hair or not. Okay, so loyal heart this person's gonna be really loyal to you they're gonna be in a relationship with you okay so it's not gonna be just a, a sexual encounter I do feel like it could be because you both I feel like are gonna feel very comfortable with that but if you're not and you just want a relationship 100% a relationship coming in Leo's I feel like can be very loyal um, and I feel like they can really connect with you on a very deep level this person's very um, I feel like obsessive is a lighter word but it's yeah they can be a little bit obsessive but I think in a good way it's like they really are loyal to you and I feel like fixed signs in particular are very very loyal like Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus and Leo okay and you're both going to really fit really nicely together beautiful so we have the heart chakra again. I love how that's like right next to the rose quartz. So this is about you guys healing your heart chakra. And I feel like we have that with the five of swords is you're really healing that energy. And once you have healed it, you will attract this person and they will come into your life. And it's gonna be really, really beautiful. They're gonna match you on a really lovely level and it's just gonna feel so kind of synchronistic for you, okay? So let's see what else you need to know about this person. Okay, so mystery. This person's gonna be really mysterious. They're gonna be somebody who's very intense. They're gonna most likely come towards you and I'm seeing them like approaching you, but it's kind of like a panther where they're like in the grass and they're like crawling towards their prey and then they suddenly jump. So I feel like they're kind of, kind of watching you quite slowly. They're quite like slow to approach them. Boom, they're like wanting you. It feels like they're they're waiting for the right time to approach you, okay? Yeah, definitely a lot of healing for both of you. I feel like both of you are really healing your heart, which is so good, that's what we wanna see. We're gonna have surrender. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, you're really kind of adamant about a certain person that you want, or you're just really, really wanting a relationship. And I think it's basically to surrender that energy and knowing that everything comes in divine timing. And this is about surrendering because a lot of our, need for somebody else can be a need for something else that we're lacking in our lives like happiness or um our health or you know just um stability and i feel like you're going to have a massive revolution around your love life this person's going to really change your love life and they're going to make you feel really really good and absolutely massive um awakening for both of you very spiritual relationship for you guys you could be the more spiritual person but it doesn't mean that they're not spiritual it's just you might help awaken them 
with that but they could even be going through awakening right now we then have taurus so i do feel like that is taurus energy is coming through i did mention that so that's beautiful and they could hit, hit you up on social media they could talk to you through facebook uh, instagram you know whatever and they could also have a website i'm hearing they may have a website and you might ask them for their services kind of like maybe a photographer or um, a fashion designer something like that that you're kind of having connections and that's how you kind of start talking to them because you might do a project with them right let's have a look at the astro dice and let's see what we have Ooh. okay so we have the fifth house we have leo again and we have the moon so they could even have leo moon um with this fifth house this is really beautiful this is about dating this is about happiness it's fun it's creative so very light energy and this moon here is making you feel like their emotions are going to be really deep they're going to be very strong very powerful very kind of can be kind of not, okay i don't want to say sexually aggressive because that's not like i want to say in a good way like they're very aggressive in the bedroom okay in, in a good way guys in a really good way it's just because they're so passionate like it's so intense but i think you guys are really going to love that and the fifth house is all about just light-hearted energy very very beautiful very fun so thank you so much for watching guys if you want a private reading all the information is down below and if you're interested in any jewelry then all that information is down below as well if you're interested in following me on my instagram you can uh, contact me through there or you can contact me through email so thank you so much for being here and i'll speak to you very soon stay safe bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading let's see who's coming towards you so we're going to start off with the sexual magic tarot okay so let's see what we have okay so we have the seven of pentacles the king of wands yes girl yes girl and we have judgment beautiful right so you guys are definitely tired okay so some people say that our soulmates us and our soulmate have like a, an invisible bond like a tie okay i definitely feel that for you guys when you guys see this person you are going to be so entrenched in their energy it's going to be like i can't stop staring at them and they can't stop staring at me it's kind of creepy but i really like it and it's going to be like so beautiful this person's most likely going to be older than you they have a really nice back they have really good muscles and they're most likely gonna be a very like soft nurturing energy very caring very like like a father kind of energy okay so not in like a creepy way but they may even father your children they may have babies with this person and this little got a little cherub guy here so this person is going to really bring in an amazing amount of energy towards you they're going to be so loyal and they're going to love you so much they're going to they're, i'm hearing they're going to make you forget about what you've been through isn't that just amazing i love that so much and this person may be a little bit indecisive when you meet them so they may think that um you they don't like you they might think you, you may think sorry they may you may think that they don't like you because they're they, they're deciding what to do because they're just so shocked like both of you are so shocked but you've worked so hard to get to this place i feel like for a lot of you guys you've really worked hard on your emotions you've really worked hard on your spirituality your spiritual gifts and this energy feels really it feels easy it feels like once you meet them you're going to know exactly this is the right person it's not going to feel tough it's not going to feel hard it's not going to feel pun in, not pun intended but it's not going to feel really uncomfortable you guys are most likely going to have sex quite early on in the relationship i think you guys are just going to be so comfortable with each other it's not even going to be a problem and the judgment here is making me feel like you are so meant to be together okay this is going to be a long-term stable concrete relationship on getting very strong taurus vibes from this person and a lot of capricorn and like uh yeah capricorn scorpio just very intense raw sharp kind of energy and when i say sharp i mean just really just such a deep level of intimacy far beyond the physical the spiritual as well you guys are going to have such a spiritual relationship you're basically going to say i've waited for you when you meet this person you're going to be like sorry guys just hit my microphone you're going to basically say like i've been waiting for you i've waited so long for you where you been <laughs> some of you guys you could have been waiting like 10 years for this person you want to really like this person's area you know again, <laughs> you're going to really like the penis okay i'm just going to put it out again really like the penis they're most likely going to have a beautiful penis okay they're going to have a beautiful body they're going to have a gorgeous kind of skin skin tone they're going to you're just going to be amazed by their body they're most likely going to be really muscly or they're going to be very fit and 
really been working on their body so you could also have been working on your body as well getting fit and dieting and when i say dieting i don't mean like you're like lacking food in your diet like you're taking away food it's basically like you're really taking care of what you're putting in your body and you're being very conscious of what you feed your mind your body so like what you're feeding yourself on social media things like that i'm getting smarties and like a like a bottle like a like a packet and it's being shaken up i don't know why why are we getting this um they're saying there's so many different ways you're going to meet this person it's like the lottery so you're going to feel like it's like the lottery for you but also it's not going to feel like oh i'm never going to meet them it's like it's going to be so um like divinely timed okay and you know those um those bingo kind of ball things where they have like the like a crate and it's like they've got the balls with the with the numbers on them and the person like winds the thing up and they go like that it's like that i don't know why i'm getting that maybe that message will come in a little bit later so we have the chariot we have the five of cups we have the strength and we have nine of pentacles so i keep getting the, the image of the i don't know if you guys have seen hercules but there's like three witches i think and they're making um oh my god this is so like mythical it's crazy so it's like i don't know what this is but basically i'm seeing it's not the creepy not the creepy side of this um scene in hercules but you know when they do that thing with the hair and they do this and it's kind of like when the person's going to die it's not that but like basically it's like you guys are meant to be together so it's kind of the divine angels and everyone is kind of getting together and they're aligning the uh, meeting and they're basically when the stars align that's when the things come together so everything is like aligning in perfect timing and it's basically going to be really beautiful and what's really interesting that i literally just noticed is we have this oh this is this is making me like wow okay so we have like these ties between both of you here and then we have this tie that this girl has here so it's almost like you knew you're going to be together on a spiritual level um you may even have dreams about this person as well and it's like now you're together and it's like you can like cut the cord in a good way it's like you finally let go of you finally come together therefore that cord doesn't have to be there anymore it's like the cord was there to find each other but it doesn't have to actually have to be there anymore because you found each other isn't that so cute i love that i'm getting so many like deep mythical energies from this this group like i'm getting like i'm hearing hades so some of you guys could be connecting with scorpio energy i'm hearing um achilles achilles i'm gonna google that okay one sec guys achilles i don't know who that is achilles was a hero of the trojan war whoa he's really strong yeah i feel like this person is very leo like this is the this is the person oh it's gone okay hang on right this is the person here like he's like really 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 powerful very 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 powerful energy i'm getting such mytho mythology yeah. <laughs> mythological um yeah beautiful i love this so much i'm getting like heather the name heather as well so i don't know if there's a greek goddess called heather but i'm hearing that very strongly okay so we have the chariot here with the five of cups so you guys are moving away from i'm hearing debt as well some of you guys might be in debt but i feel like you're moving away from the the sadness you're moving away from the uncomfortableness you're really becoming strong within yourself and therefore you know what you want okay the nine of pentacles is all about feeling really sustained really sustained really kind of happy and content and you guys are really working on your emotions as well similar to group number two i think uh had the doves so look out for doves as well and i think the more you can work on yourself your own emotions your deepest parts of you the better this person is going to come in quicker and the better you can feel within yourself and i think for a lot of you guys you could just be really focusing on your diet as i said some of you guys could be becoming vegan vegetarian um, i'm hearing veterinarian as well so you guys might be becoming vets i uh, might be doing um, like a vet kind of um course that sort of thing to become a vet but i'm seeing somebody might be i'm hearing like dr strange and he was a surgeon and that's kind of the energy i'm getting the person you might be connected to might be a surgeon or somebody in the medical field but somebody who does like really 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 intricate work so it could be something that they do intricately it could be like painting model figures it could be um doing like um signatures or something i don't know what this is it's like they're engraving something so it could be something like that soldering as well i'm hearing like jewelry making okay we have higher power and we have round and round 
you guys have are definitely on the right path with this person i mean all of you guys all of you groups are on the right path but it feels like you're just so ready for this person you're so ready and you've been round and round you've been round and round with people you are so ready to just meet somebody who's so on your wavelength and so in that energy and i feel like this both are very connected with each other because you've got like the pink here and this the universe is going to bring you towards each other oh i love this crystal we have angel light, angels, throat and crown chakra. So as I say, you're ready to meet each other. The communication is going to be on point with you guys. It's going to be so strong. It's going to be so intense and so beautiful. And I just love this pastel. I love the pastel colors. They're so, so, so pretty. And I just think this is just amazing. I think you guys are going to be so connected with each other on a lot of different levels. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need hematite and pyrite. Pyrite is really good for grounding and... Um, bringing in success with career and just abundance and hematite is just very very good for grounding and to stop overthinking so just bear that in mind guys if you're interested in purchasing a crystal not from maybe from me but if you want to just generally purchase a crystal for yourself they're really good i'm also seeing a dodeca dodeca diamond dodecahedron like um sacred uh symbols like um like a i will get it in a minute <laughs> Sacred shapes, geometry, sacred geometry. There we go, we got there in the end. Right, we have Aries, we have Pisces, fourth house, wisdom. So you guys are gonna be really connected with this person um, on every single level. You're gonna have most likely have children with this person. You're gonna have some really beautiful sex with this person as well. The sex is gonna be so beautiful. It's gonna be so, like, it's gonna be raw, but it's gonna be so, like, happy and fun and no restrictions i'm hearing um so you guys could be um moving in with this person i feel like if you're going to meet this person you would move in in probably about two to three years um depends on obviously the relationship could be one year for some of you guys some of you guys you could live in like want to live in like a log cabin or something but i feel like i'm really concentrating on that wood so i mean it could be like a kinky thing as well with the wood <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah this person um they do they are quite um strong on responsibility and structure so they're most likely um take things quite seriously with the relationship um they may oh, i love how we have bones and like scaffolding so as i say they could be saints through the medical field they could be oh they could be um yeah surgeon they could be putting bones together like i'm seeing bones being literally stitched together so they could do that as well okay so they're going to help you with your reputation this person's going to be very career driven but i think they're going to be very balanced with that and they're going to be concentrating on travel as well. So they could be somebody who's quite far away from you. Um, but foreign travel is going to be really important for this person for some reason. And you both are going to be very, very, um, you're going to flow really well together. You're going to be, um, you're going to support each other really well. And I love the word lubricate. So it just is so like fitting with this reading. Um, it's just going to like flow so nicely together like a car with oil. Like a car without oil will be like clunky <laughs> i don't know what that noise was but <laughs> clunky and then with the oil it's like really smooth and it's just you guys are just so meant to be together it's like just a beautiful energy okay what else do we need to do i love how we have relates and mirrors you guys are gonna be really similar but really different it's gonna be like perfect okie dokie we have venus virgo 11th house that's such a really random combination um, so Virgo Venus, I have not met many Virgo Venuses, so if you are a Virgo Venus, let me know, um, but I feel like I'm Virgo Mars, so I mean, I guess it's quite similar, but for you guys, this person's going to be really gentle, they're going to be, uh, they, they're going to love, this is literally matching up to what I said, they're going to love intri intricacy, so they're going to love things that are really intricate, like jewellery, uh, making things that are really small, and just kind of working on things at a small scale, um, they could be a like a make it could even work in like a jewelers where they create diamonds and things um with the 11th house this is to do with like uh friendships and groups so you could meet this person through a group through friendships through some sort of community so it could be like a spiritual community or community you're really interested in so thank you so much for watching if you want a private reading all my information is down below also jewelry is available through my instagram or email let me know and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys stay safe hello green number four let's get started with your reading let's see who is coming towards you so let's have a look at the sexual magic tarot first okay so we have five of pentacles the moon and the seven of wands so with this energy i feel like you guys have been let down by quite a few people in the past okay 
And I see with this person, they're gonna really connect with you on a very deep emotional level. You guys are gonna feel really comfortable with this person, therefore the sex life is gonna be absolutely beautiful. You guys could be the sort of past, the sort of people who wanna have like a threesome or something, or you could like wanna do some kinky stuff with like another couple. I mean, it's obviously not for everyone, but if that is something that you wanna do, they would might, they might be up for that, that sort of thing. Obviously, if that's what you wanna do, then they might be up for that. But if you don't want to, then obviously they won't. Um, I feel like music is quite a big thing for you guys. Music seems like a really kind of prominent thing in your relationship. It seems like something, you might be interested in um, music. And I feel like I'm hearing um, a sad song. There's a song called, there's a song that's is actually sad song. Like I'm, it's like I'm fed up of hearing sad songs basically about love. And I think you're kind of moving more towards that energy of much more happiness. And the moon really shows here that you're looking into a lot of deep energy and you're going deeper than you've than you've ever done before, basically. So for a lot of you guys, when you meet this person, you could be, uh, you could, you might not like them at first, but I think you're going to really kind of, yeah, I think you're going to start to like them. The person you might be connected to might have a reptile as a pet. doesn't have to, but they might have a reptile as a pet. They might connect with reptiles. Um... You might be connecting with pearls as well. I'm really looking at the pearl. And the pearl shows me that this... I love how the Scorpio is going into the pearl. So it's almost like the the energy going towards where you're going. It's like the Scorpio intense energy is, is helping you to feel really connected to your emotions. And we do have a full moon in Scorpio as I'm filming this video. So if you are a Scorpio, that's you connecting with your deeper emotions. And not being scared of them as well. I think this person is going to be really... Um, comfortable with you, the intimacy is going to be amazing. They're going to love your back. They're going to love. Um, they're going to love your hair. I think you're going to have your hair tied up a lot of the time. I think because it's going to be easier when you're doing some stuff together. Um, but I think they're going to love your hair. They're going to really love your eyes. For some reason they're going to really love your eyelids. I don't know why specifically your eyelids. Maybe you do makeup on them, or maybe just because you have pretty eyelids. I don't know. But there's definitely something to do with your eyes and. This person's going to be really loyal. They're going to want to experiment a lot. And I think you are as well. And I think this relationship's just going to be very connected. And just you're just going to be really happy to... You're going to be really... It's going to be really easy to express yourself. Very, very beautiful. I love um, the... I think that's French. Is La Luna? Is that French? I'm not sure. But the Luna. I'm really connected with the word Luna. So I don't know if you guys have like a name called... You have, your name is Luna. Or you connect with the moon like really strongly you might have just a very strong connection to the moon with this luna you may also be connected to the girl who's called is it called luna in harry potter maybe there's a connection there as well so let's have a look in the tarot and see what else we have okay lovely we have the star uh knight of wands justice and the lovers so this lovers actually came out underneath the card deck but i wanted to put it in because i thought it was just i thought it would really tie the reading together and it really does actually it's like i'm wishing for my person i'm really embracing who i am i'm becoming balanced and then i meet my person that's basically how it is here it's like so beautiful this person's going to be divinely guided to you they're gonna you're just wishing for this person and they're going to turn up okay and you're both going to be really connected with your passions. So you're both going to be very passionate about things. You could be a fire sign or an Aquarius um, or an air sign. It doesn't have to be. We also have justice here. So you're, both, you're going to be really looking into your deep shadows. And that's going to help you to connect with this person. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. My throat just did a weird thing. Um, I think your throat and your heart chakra are chakras that you're working on. You're working on healing yourself. And you're working on um, being able to talk about how you really feel with this person and just in general. And it's funny how we have one of the one of the cups is lit up and the other one isn't. So I think you're learning to embrace all sides of you. You're learning to light up your whole vibe. Like you're learning to light up your yourself and just be yourself as, as who you generally are. And all these cards have a lot of dots in them, like a lot of like beautiful stars. And I feel like both of you are going to be connected on such a spiritual basis. This person could be older than you as well doesn't have to be this person can even have dreads um the person you're connecting to as well but i feel like you're both going to just love each other i feel like this is a very spiritual um soul connection but also a free spirited connection i feel like you guys are sort of people who would like walk naked on a na like a nude beach kind of thing 
um, or live in like a little cabin in the woods, you know, that sort of thing. I feel like you guys are just going to be really closely connected to nature. And I feel like you're connected to nature already and this person is going to be like that as well. And then you're both going to be just really closely connected. This person might connect with reptiles and um, like the animals. They might just be very connected with, with animals. Okay. I feel like for some of you guys are getting California because my table just shook and it kind of remind me of earthquakes. So I feel like it, I feel like in California, I think has quite a few earthquakes. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh... Yeah, I feel like this person's going to really like your figure. They're going to love like your hourglass figure. Okay, even if you don't have an hourglass figure, they're going to love your figure. Uh, they're going to love your booty. And I think you're going to be going to different places where you can dress up and really be like really girly or just really just dress up and look good and have an opportunity to wear things that you don't normally wear. Um, I mean like lingerie, but also like very beautiful, beautiful outfits as well. So we have community and we have Malachite, Nature, Heart Chakra. Every group has pretty much had Heart Chakra, which is great. I love that so much. So as I say, you guys are going to be really connected to nature. Your community, you might actually meet this person through a community who works with nature. So it could be like a, a charity, but it could also be um, a group who, yeah, just very good with nature. It could be um, just, they could just be part of your community. They could be part of your friendship group and that's how you meet them. With this nature card, I feel like you're both going to have a very natural relationship. There's no toxicity. It's going to be very whole, authentic, wholehearted. Your heart is going to be in it fully, okay? You may have a little bit of trouble opening up at first, but I don't see this being too much of a problem. So let's see what else we have here. Beautiful. Flowing so well. You guys are going to really um, enrich each other. You're going to be both um, complimenting each other. I really like that. You're both going to be really complimenting each other. This is going to be a very big relationship. It's like probably one of the best relationships you've ever had. I think if the best, if not the best relationship. Um, look out for orchids as well and lilies. So they're going to be very um, big for you. You might meet this person around the water as well, around water. So the best thing for you guys to do is just allow this relationship to come in. Allow the cycles to come in as they come in. And I think you are starting a new cycle, both of you. Um, because you're both healing. So I think you're you're going to attract the best person for you who is ready to to be on your vibe. It could be also be a Taurus as well. Let's get a couple more cards. We also have Leo. So there could be a fixed sign, Scorpio or Aquarius as well. Okay, we have Capricorn, quite a lot of earthy energy. Let's get one more. And we also have Sextile. So this person is going to bring, as I say, lots of opportunities to you. You can meet them through an art class as well. You could be into art and they could be into art. And that's how you meet them. It could literally be you'll put your art on Instagram and they find you or something like that. And then we have Gemini. So their the communication skills are going to be really, really good. They're going to be very, very good at communicating and they're not going to have a problem communicating with you. They're going to be, they're going to find it very easy. For some of you guys, they, some of you guys, they may find it hard. Okay. Some of you easy, some of you hard, but um, they're going to, they're going to really uh, open themselves up. If they have trouble, they're going to open themselves up. So let's see what else. You could um, be in a collaborative group as well. You could um, collaborate with them on a project and that's how you meet them as well we have had a lot of leo energy which is interesting because it's not leo season or anything so i don't know i don't think there's any kind of prominent leo energy right now but yeah we keep getting leo so a lot of fire signs for you guys so uh, for a lot of the groups it's just leo coming up very strongly i think for you guys as well it's going to be just a really exciting relationship and i feel like you can meet this person through work as well because capricorn is the boss here oh sorry guys you could just hear my stomach um Capricorn is the boss here and he is kind of disciplined, he's quite down to earth, quite slow moving. Um, but I feel like it's going to be sustainable. This person, if they are an earth sign, they are going to move quite slowly at first and then everything's just going to kind of pick up. And then we have the um, 10th house, which is about career. And we, we actually have Mercury, which is Gemini rules Mercury, I'm pretty sure. So you guys are just going to be, they're going to be very communicative to you. They're most likely going to be the fun to make the first move. You're going to meet them through a work or a community of some sort where you are kind of in a group setting and you're all kind of communicating to each other. So that's how you're going to get to know them. Most likely see them across the room or in a meeting or something. And then that's how you meet them. It could be like on a Zoom meeting as well. Like you, they start talking and you're like, I've never actually kind of like talked to this person in a way where I can actually get to really know them, but this will be absolutely beautiful. It's just such a calm relationship. It's like just, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. So thank you so much for watching guys. I feel like communication is gonna be really good for you though. I feel like with it in Leo, it's gonna be so passionate. Like Dirty Talk is gonna be so good for you guys. And you're both just gonna be 
really well like meshing together i'm just seeing like two people when they're just gonna go like that <laughs> like meshing really well together like i'm hearing like fluid fluid water sorry i needed to stretch <laughs> um like fluid water where just like water comes in you know where water comes in it just it completely like goes in every single crevice it doesn't have like barriers you know so you guys are going to really kind of do that i'm feeling like a lot of heat from my hands as well so you guys could be into tai chi uh qigong that kind of thing but also you could just feel a lot of chi between you two as well you could just feel a lot of heat literally a lot of heat um yeah beautiful but i think this person is going to be really lovely and i could have brown hair as well i feel like these two women are very similar like these two men are very similar so yeah beautiful you could actually meet this person and your your like best friend or a close friend could also meet their person and then they could be like really similar like your relationships like your relationships could be really similar so thank you so much for watching if you want to book a private reading all my information is down below and if you would like if you're interested in my jewelry uh let me know through instagram or email and i'll uh, get that done for you and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you soon bye